All right, it looks like Thursdays have turned into our heavy metal version of O Canada, and why not? What an intense way and what an awesome way to celebrate the greatest country in the world. A uh, quick note for me about the theater production that's been going on. I've had all kinds of crazy meetings this week, so I haven't had a chance to say anything about it, and I won't have a chance to say anything about it tomorrow morning, but what an incredible performance, what an incredible technical setup. I applaud Ms. Belton and Mr. Neal and all of the adults involved in putting uh, that entire production together. Uh, I'm going to forget people. Mr. Klippenstein's incredible work on the sets and just the all of the students that work behind the scenes and certainly the performers. Uh, that is a very difficult play to um, maneuver through and the intensity of the acting, uh, the emotions and the message was fantastic. So I was able to see it opening night on Monday and I'm still um, raving about it to anyone who will listen to me. So congratulations to all. What a fantastic performance and uh, just another hallmark of what we're about here when it comes to the arts and making a difference for our greater community. That is it for me. I think over to your illustrious leaders. You owe me a resume. Yes, I do. Thank you, Mr. Bruce. Um, my name is Shinnerem Chibo. And I'm Jesse. From Stuco. And we have a couple of announcements. Yeah, I'm going to open that up right now. One, two, three. The bench is yellow, the talks are mellow for every fellow. Come, Come say, say hello. hello. Yes, you. Come on down and sit down on the yellow bench by the roach doors and just say hello. Everyone is welcome. And today is the last night for Frankenstein. Like Mr. Bruce said, it is an amazing production. You will not want to miss this incredible show. Be there or the creature will find you. Tickets are on sale at lunch or at the door. And thank you to all the students who tried out for the dance crew and congratulations to those who made the first rehearsal. This first rehearsal is this Friday at March 8th at 3.30 in Gym B. We'll see you there. And MMC Interface invites you to discuss the big question. Is there more to this life? Wow, that's a really big question. Today at lunch in room 35. Bring your appetite. Pizza is served. And last chance for lost and found items. There are a few new items on the lost and found table. Lots of toques, gloves, and mitts. Also water bottles and a gym bag baseball cap comma baseball cap, etc. You have until next Thursday, March 14th, to pick up your lost item. Any items that are not claimed will be donated. And a reminder to all girls wanting to participate in our May Hackathon to sign up outside room 13. We meet Fridays at lunch in room 13. Please see Miss Adamson or Miss Fednew if you have any questions. And attention to all art students if you have ever taken art and left something behind. This is your last warning to pick it up by this Friday. The art room is about to get completely cleaned out. Anything you left behind may never be seen again. And in sports news, Intramural chook ball sign ups are now posted outside of gym A. If you do not know what chook ball is, please join us in the gym next week for a demonstration and exhibition play. Everyone is welcome. We hope to begin league play by the end of the next week. And congratulations to the February Buckeye Athletes of the Month. If this is you, please see a member of the Miles Mac Phys Ed Department to receive your prize. These bucks are also celebrated on the Miles Mac Athletic page on Instagram. And will the following bucks please come down to the office after announcements? AJ Ford, Ryan Crowley, Chris Lee Senden, Tyler Nugrid, Jem Remacall, Jewel Remacall, Tristan Mitchell, and Ryan Zersteg. And that's, that's all for today, today Buckeyes. Have a great day making a positive difference. difference. Woo! Woo!